Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to what I believe to be the biggest and best hockey arena in all of Finland. And I guess it's pretty centrally located here in Tempede because it's a massive arena and yet it's sort of tucked in behind all these other shopping malls and apartment buildings. And so it feels like we're right downtown, Yeah. so to say. Anyway, let's get inside and check it out. And so one of our subscribers told me that this arena will remind me of the NHL arenas I've been to, which I guess is right because I've got some full bars and restaurants down there and even escalators for lazy butts like Ivana and even some custom jersey making with your name and number on the back. And I guess a television broadcast happening right there by the front entrance. So uh, very familiar to what happens in Toronto, actually. All right, so first things first. 8.8 .8 euros for only 400 milliliters of beer. What I need is one of those really good finished price tags to do the math, see which one is cheaper <laughs> compared to here in Helsinki. But it is cheaper in Helsinki, so I guess somebody has to pay for the nice arena and the mm. beer is doing that. But also, Ooh. we've got first time trying salmiaki shot. I so can it smell it from here. Like a salty black licorice type okay. shot. Uh, cheers. You're supposed to drink it. Sipping, Am I? I think. It's pretty good though. It's pretty good, Ivana. It's salty. Tastes like licorice. Not very salty, no. Just, ah, okay. just licorice. Licorice, black licorice. Maybe I was supposed to sip it. Now I look like a real fiend. But I would drink that. That's good. All right. Drink. Although one's enough for me. I got a job to do. But in any case, let's uh, get inside and see the arena. And I tell you what, just before we get out there, Ivana and I have done more or less an entire lap of the main level here. And uh, I think all the bars here are like freshly renovated because there's not a scratch in the tabletop and there's not a broken floor tile or anything. It's all sports bars and sports memorabilia and burger joints and places to get spicy wings. And uh, the vibe is just great. It's almost like a continuous bar all the way around. You can just sort of wander up with your beer and hang out and then keep it going. It's a uh, very well done construction. All right, so the first thing you'll notice when you walk in the arena is the super massive jumbotron above center ice, which I'm sure is very helpful to the people in the nosebleeds because there are two full bowls around the arena. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you look at Ivana and I is, whoa, these are some good looking muchachos. We picked up a swag bag from the art director because they have seen our videos in a different city supporting different teams that we will not name because both of those teams have been eliminated from contention. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you sit in these seats, two words, lumbar support. Very nice seats, seriously luxurious. And when they were cleaning the ice, they used not one, not three, but two Zambonis. What will they think of next? This is seriously a high class operation here. Now, we were told that the pre-game uh, light show is, is a must see. And so if you are prone to seizures, please look away because it was lights and flashing and pyrotechnics and it was uh, something to see for 10 minutes or so. And then uh, the ceremonial puck drop before the puck drop and the game has begun. So let's uh, see what we can see here with really good seats uh, to see both nets. And so we are cheering for our boys in green. And I love how our cheering section is right behind their goalie. Hopefully his name doesn't rhyme with Swiss cheese because I'm sure those boys are very creative with the chance. And uh, it's very familiar to sort of like a football atmosphere where our ultras are here and their ultras are there. In Helsinki, the ultras are sort of in the corner, which is better than in the parking lot for sure. But right behind the net seems to be the place for the ultras. And we've got some hits happening and the fans are getting lively. So let's hope for the home team, our boys in green, to open the scoring shortly. Hey. Talk about something Helsinki doesn't have. We got uh, blood shaking models in the aisles. Hey, all this and a hockey game. Come on. Oh, never mind the models. We've got superstars in the audience. There. <laughs> I'm on the Jumbotron and I'm filming myself. Wow, what can't he do? By the way, is it me or is our goalie six foot four? Listen, part of me is jealous, but part of me knows that's probably a shutout down here because uh, six foot four, six foot three, that's what you want from a goalie. <laughs> oh, and he moves well too. Oh, I think Calvo might be doomed in this one. 
the net. Ah. And so just like that, we've got a bit of hockey that you might play on a frozen pond in your neighbor's farm. Because it's four on four hockey, because both teams got a penalty. So tons of ice, especially with the wide uh, European finish ice here. Tons of ice for these boys to skate around. Should be a wide open few minutes here. Now, thanks to this very handy booklet we've gotten, the yearbook 2024, we have learned that there are two Canadians on Ilves who are number 20 and number 25. So, shout out to the Canadian connection. Oh, nice move, you know, nice try at least. But I would throw the punch. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh no. Our goalie got a penalty for that, I think. We got a guy in a box down there. Oh, the goalie got a penalty. Now that's playing goalie like a young Steve Gregg. I like a rumble. All right, goalie. You gotta be. There he goes again. Yo, this goalie is an animal. He just stuck his knee into that kid. That was actually a dirty play. I'm here for it. I support it, but that's actually a dirty and dangerous play. Listen, if the goalie's gonna take the penalty, he's absolutely gotta be the best penalty killer. So let's see it. You gotta back up the, uh, the aggressiveness with some saves here. Oh gosh. Woo! That was almost a recreation of our goal from behind the net to in front of the net to in the net. That quick. Shorthanded for a bit in the uh, in the second. Oh, we're still fighting a bit over here. Oh yeah. All right, time for a burger. I'll tell you what. So many people, obviously very crowded, but the line is incredibly fast because you order the burger and they put it in your hand. Yeah. There's no cook already. time. There's no prep time. They got like 50 burgers made or whatever, and they just put it in your hand. Yeah. Burger and a beer. And friends and burgers. It's one of the recommended burger place here. Order the food, get the food. Yeah. Amazing. Let's find somewhere right. to eat, man. Friends and Burgers? Uh, we were told it's one of the best burger joints in Tampare. To be clear, not one of the best burger joints in the arena, but in the whole city. Yeah. So I guess they got some kind of partnership because um, we must have walked past six or seven <laughs> Friends and Burgers True. in this level here. That's right. This is called the Friends Burger. Oh. Looking good. Looks simple, but for arena food, I think it's gonna be very good. <laughs> Better than his burger? Yes. <laughs> um, I think his burger is like McDonald's and this one is like Shakey Shack. I was gonna say it's a bit like yeah. Shake Shack. Yeah. But the meat is sort of creamy and the sauce in it with the cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. five star burger. Very good. Wow. I'm into it. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Can't go wrong. We got some fans. <laughs> Very nice. Do you think we will win today? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. If we get in the video. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get in the video? All right, so puck drop here in the second period. And is it me or is this arena very well lit? It seems like the ice is just shinier or brighter or easier to see than the one in Helsinki. I don't know if the paint beneath the ice is fresh or something, but uh, it just looks very camera friendly to me. 
don't know how to describe it, but but it seems like a nice view, nice arena, very very shiny, you know. Here we go, boys. Power play. Here we go. Here we go. Roll the puck. And the crowd is getting more and more active here. Nice pass on net. On net. Halfway in or something, I don't know. Come on, boys. Power play's not over. Let's go, let's go. Throw the puck. Feel the energy from the crowd. Here's our, here's our golden helmet here. Ah, golden helmet with a turnover. Ah, that's the end of our power play. And now, Kalpa's got a bit of a boost because penalty kill gives him some energy. Over that. No problem. No problem. You gotta love the Ilves fans. Every time someone in the green jersey falls down, they call for, hey, it was a penalty on that. It's like, without penalties, our boys would never fall. It's, it's really great uh, support from the fans. Oh, that was a good hit. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. We were begging for a penalty, and now they're getting one. Might have been a high stick, huh? Oh, he's playing baseball over there. Good try, good try. Or cricket at the very least. <laughs> Look at that play. In the net. Oh, great save. And so I think coming soon, you'll hear the Mario noise for the power play is over. Listen. Oh no, it's only when our penalty ends. It's a goal! Oh yeah! What? 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 Ay caramba! Oh, I think we're gonna go upstairs for that one. I think we're gonna call Toronto because that one was in the net. I saw it go in, out, back in three more times. That wasn't it? Oh. All right, here we go. Now everybody's gonna. Oh, that's a good dude. Yeah, Adult Sports Center. A couple of, a couple of gloves on punches right there. That was a pretty aggressive. Now let's see this replay. Oh my God! Off the post and then dances across the goal line. Oh. oh. Hey, good call by the ref. Close. Oh. Darn, I think I might have missed the goal. You know what it was too? I think it was 90. We just launched a wrister over our goalie's uh, glove side. Ah. Here's the, here's the replay, here's the replay. So first of all, 90 dumped our guy in a corner, which looked like a trip to me. And he just wheeled out and he just kind of shot it through a screen. There's a trip right here, is that a trip? Look at that trip. He put his stick in front of the guy's foot, took him down. And then he picks up the puck and goes, snipe! Walker side, sorry. Darn it. Well, there you have it, everybody. It's 1-1 with a minute left here in the uh, second period. Darn. Sneaky goal. I didn't see it coming, and I think neither did our goalie. Just kind of came on him too quick. Come on, boys, get a quick goal before the end of the period. End this period up a goal right now, right now. And a boy, not three. Ah, yeah, they got a penalty. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a hook. You know what that is? That's a makeup call for missing 90. Tripping our guy before he scored, I think. All right. 1-1 one, one game should be a good, uh, good third period. I don't know. They must be selling beer down there because at the end of the periods, a lot of people going down. But I'm going up anyway. Okay, so during this intermission, we'd like to tell you about our experience at the Finnish Hockey Hall of Fame, which is not far from here in the city of Tampere. Now, being Canadian, there's obvious connections in any Hockey Hall of Fame in any country, I would imagine. But in Finland, the trophy for winning this league is called the Canada Bowl because it's been donated by some Finnish Canadians. And so they have all the trophies displayed in the Hockey Hall of Fame. And I noticed on the Canada Bowl, that there was a five-year period in the 80s where the trophy stayed here in Tampere. I think it was four Tapara and one Ilves. So this is really the uh, 
maybe the hockey city in Finland. Now, the right. Hockey Hall of Fame had a nice, very similar to the one in Toronto, uh, kind of shooting arrangement where you could see if you could score on a goalie. I had some fun there. And we saw a lot of memorabilia, which we really enjoyed. Uh, overall, it was a good experience. Right. I had fun at the Hockey Hall of Fame <laughs> in Finland. <laughs> Of course, they put a video of them beating the pants off Sweden. <laughs> 2006 Olympics, 6-1. <laughs> and so I would recommend, cost us like 8 euro each, I think. 15. 15 each. Yeah. It's a little pricey, but I still don't regret it. <laughs> In the end, it was, a, it was a good experience. And so we're ready for a uh, third period here. Come on, we go We need one more goal, best. like badly. I know. The game hasn't had many goals, but it's been exciting because it's playoff hockey. Sorry, go ahead. And uh, it's, there's a good crowd and a good atmosphere. So it has been exciting. Is free donuts or what? No way. <laughs> I mean, those look like free donuts, I don't but they think can't so. be. Anyway, uh, third period coming soon. <laughs> All right, so we won the face-off to start the third, just like we're about to win the third. Here we go, boys. Ay, caramba. We're starting the third with a penalty kill because we got a stupid penalty, which is six men on the ice. Well, but that was I don't know exactly what happened, but we were playing. We were playing with too many men on the ice, and now we're short. Nice save. Nice save. That was a pretty textbook uh, power play one-timer. And our goalie read it perfectly. Oh! Man, I just heard the noise for the end of the power play. We just killed it off. And another wrister from the slot. Ay, caramba. Yo, Ivana. We are the bad luck charm for every team in Finland. If we're a fan, the odds of winning go down. Ay caramba, hey, the game is not over. 2-1 here in the third period. Uh, the old turn and fire. Ah. Maybe tipped off a uh, defenseman stick. That's what fooled the goalie. I think 57 might have tipped it. Well, all right, boys. Need a goal or two. At least one to get overtime. Hey, I'll tell you what, Ivana. We score a goal, we get overtime. That's called getting your money's worth. No problem with that. All right. We're cheering for overtime. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Wheels right past that guy. Here we go. A little Gretzky turn and a one-timer. Ah, out of bounds. Out of play. All right. Canadian kid taking the draw. From Halifax, Nova Scotia, mind you. He's about to win it back to the D-man. Pass across the blue line. One timer through a screen, just like we drew it up in practice. Come on, O'Leary. Do it for Canada. Oh! Now tilted this way, okay? Everything's going this way. Oh! Heck of a chance there, heck of a chance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me, give me, 
give it in. Nice play. Nice play. Still on the attack here. No, no, no turnover. Dark block, it's dark block. what guys the puck barely comes down here it comes down here we regroup and we attack again we got five minutes left we need to get one because uh, our momentum is gonna slow down eventually we gotta finish this game in regulation see what I mean turnover let's go in the net oh gosh the fans on the edge of their seat now. Oh, nice little play, fellas. Watch like I say, comes back here, and we pick it up and we go right back on the attack. I'm telling you, the puck does not enter our side. The puck does not enter our end. We are on the attack, man. They got a penalty. They got a penalty. They dumped somebody in the corner. Exciting, right? All right, control the puck, fellas. Control the puck. We got a long power play here. Take your time. All you need is one scoring opportunity. Providing that one goes in the net like that did. Ah. I was trying to time my commentary to go right when they scored. <laughs> Uh, one more pass, one more pass, there it is. Oh. One more pass, there it is, on that. Man, man. Let me tell you something. That Kalpa goalie is very good. He might be the best goalie we've seen in uh, Finland so far. He's consistently in the right place at the right time. He makes it look easy. Puck's right in his glove. Puck's right in his patch. Uh, very good goalie. Easy. No, no, no. Good, good job. Oh my gosh! Oh! All right, that's the end of it. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be overtime. Now I'm assuming in overtime it's uh, it's golden goal. Sudden death must be. Finland must have sudden death. Must have. All right, so it's definitely sudden death overtime. I don't know what made me question that. Maybe the size of the ice is a little different and there might be some rule changes, but hockey, I think, has to be sudden death overtime. And I guess it will go forever until somebody scores. So if there is another intermission, I've been looking at this uh, cup, three hot dogs in it, and mustard in it. My gosh. You hungry? No. No, me neither. That burger was very good and satisfying for me. Triple sausage mustard cup. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Hopefully no more intermission. Hopefully we score first. But, yes, uh, come on, Ilves. We'll see. All right. Cheers, everybody. Or, uh, keep peace. Bing. And I tell you what, if you guys can believe it, this game is the third game in the series. And it's the third game in the series to go to overtime. So these teams are incredibly evenly matched. Three games in a row in overtime. Two on one, game over. Ay, caramba. Now, unfortunately, our boys in green have lost both of the previous games. So we really are in not technically a must win. We could lose and still win the series. But realistically speaking, this is a must win game. And it's sort of unbelievable. Three in a row in overtime goes to show you the even sort of strength of these two teams. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas.
Check it out, the goalie leads the clap off. Oh! 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 Yeah! Look at him dive! <laughs> Look at him dive! What the heck? Oh, I've never saw that before. I guess he wears a small glove inside his blocker. And then he claps us off. And then he hits the glass. Oh, imagine being him! What a life! Out of way, fella. Out of way. The, the, the dive was was a bit a bit hilarious, but a bit awesome, honestly. Oh, good finish, man. Good finish. Good finish. All right. So, final review of the game. Listen, the arena is definitely a different experience than the one in Helsinki. It's modern and it's new and it's great. The one in Helsinki has amazing history, such as Essa Tikkanen playing there in 1969 as a youngster, or being there at the very least. But the experience here is so much better. The amazing Jumbotron with the curved corners and the sound system. And uh, it's nice to see a win, especially a hard fought playoff overtime win. It's a great game. Yes. Great experience. And so I think what we'll do is we'll stay in Tempere until Thursday and we'll watch another Tempere team. We'll change our hats yet again. We are at risk of being uh, subject to Fair weather fans, at the very least. But I think we'll see Tapara play on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're all trying to make our way out of here. We're a bit like sardines in a can. But thanks for watching, and go Ilves. Bye. Later.